Is there a problem? No, no, just, uh, how do you, uh, how do you make it go? Push the start button. I knew that. All things come to an end. Even this one, this beloved franchise. Even though I had a time in my life with it, and I had to say, it's a good ending. It's well put together. And this is how you end a franchise. And you should never half ass a good story and a good trilogy. Now, let's get on. But my final review for Uncharted. The story of Uncharted 4 is about two brothers, Sam and Nathan, looking for Captain Avery's fortune. Even though the story is straightforward, featuring bad guys and exploration and casual action, but the story is much deeper than that. The story starts off 15 years later, after Nathan reunites with his brother. Sam, who is supposed to be dead, who is not even mentioned throughout the entire series. And this kind of wonder why he's never mentioned until now. The story, like I said, straightforward, but it comes down to characters. You have the bad guys, who's not really bad guys, who's just fortune hunters just like Nathan and Sam and Victor. But with the two protagonists who are treated like bad guys, but not really. Nadine is a mercenary with her mercenary band. And Reef, he's a rich, pretty boy who has some anger issues with his parents. And the story just goes off the rails with these characters and what really what they're looking for. Without the story, it could really be straightforward. But they shoved the bad guys in there anyway. And I want to talk about more about that later. But I want to talk about the rest of the game. So what about the graphic? Sure, the game looks great. The game is fantastic. But it shows you that it's been in development for two years. The graphic does seem a little dated, but not as dated than you expect to some games. The graphics is high, but not as high that you expect for the Unreal Engine. The environment looks good, the color is bright, and you got subtle details between each character and their models. Now, letting you know, I'm a graphic core, so I have to look at every detail, every character, and sure. 
it looks fantastic. It plays well. But also for the fact that when it comes down to gameplay, it doesn't matter. Because what I'm talking about now is how it looks. You know, I always have my problems with certain games that it wants to be realistic and it shoves so much in there and this glitches. This game doesn't. Sure it has some bugs, uh, sure it has some pops, graphical pops, but in the end, you know, it's running smooth even though it's 30 frames per second. And everything that's in the environment is destructible, surprisingly certain parts of the, the environment. And it that small details, it works wonders. Now the game is not perfect. It's not. It's it does have some, you know, flaws, especially flaws that goes on not notice after the first playthrough. The second playthrough, when you see it, you know it. Uh, it's you know, if it wasn't maybe using Unreal Engine like Arkham Asylum, I think it'd be a lot higher. It'd be a lot smoother. And um, everything would just seem more in there, it would fit more. But it's not like you say uh, bad. It, again, it has phenomenal work on it. Uh, it I'm not hating it because it, it, it looks average. No, it's um, if it was like you say. It would look more like an advanced version of GTA 5 graphics. It then it's not exact what you want into you know clothing texture, hair texture. It does fit, but it's like I said, it's it fits this perfectly, but it's not the master of <laughs> the graphics. At the time, if this came out when it was supposed to, it would blow our minds. But now, when we saw so much in the coming years, it it's not Metal Gear <laughs> Solid Five graphics. Um, but again, it shines. The graphic does show a lot of sunlight, a lot of color, a lot of brightness. Um, the water effects are fantastic. I love the water effects on this. The trees, everything looks realistic. And if it was using the Fox engine, it would almost compare, almost just a little bit. But everything has a shiny surface. Uh, character models also have a shiny surface. The skin tone has a shiny surface, and that kind of, you know, kills the real, uh, realism for each character. And each character, yeah, they look different. And, you know, little shape details and facial features, but. That's about it. That's the only amount of details that you will see. Um, even you go zoom in close enough into each character. Um, again, they still have like a shiny surface to them. Have a cartoon fear. Um, not fear, sorry. Feel to them. And that is kind of like the killer <laughs> with this kind of game right now. Um, I want to say it looks real. Uh, character looks real, but I seen better. I I seen characters that look a little bit more better. Um, I'm gonna keep bringing up Batman, um, Arkham Knight because they skin tone is a little bit accurate to a, a real person. Uh, real skin doesn't show too much of a, a, a brightness to it, and especially a character like this that you know. That's supposed to be dirty, grimy, you know, even the bad guys, you know, they, they all look the same. They all clean cut, very clean animations. Yeah, sure, the animation is fantastic. But um, that's what I'm trying to say is that when you see Valkyrie Knight, you see these details with each character. Um, very scary skin tone, very scary shading, wrinkles, hair. Uh, that's what the power of Unreal will use. Yes, this game has a very powerful engine running it, but it's not 60 frames. But I guess that 
the character models kind of like has to suffer for movement and all the other fractures in the game but we talk about that one later so um, what I really want to talk about is the gameplay <clears throat> and it's fun I love shooting I love jumping I love climbing but there's a lot of <laughs> it's very repetitive um especially um the climbing part and you're gonna do a lot of climbing in this game and and there's a very little bit of shooting and don't get me wrong uh if you're a fan you understand that it's a difference between two and three it feels more like one because there's a lot of climbing there's a lot of heights and you're gonna do a lot more of that but the shooty shooty sorry the shooty mechanic it it works pretty well I, thank god they fix it they fix the crap out of it now the gameplay does slow down because it wants to catch your breath it doesn't want to end up like part three that it, it just too many action sets this one is you're gonna take your time on it so even the shooting mechanic is gonna take your time it works well it's responsive um, they do a new lock-on system so it's easier for you it's a hit and miss and you're gonna do a lot of running there's very small sets between big actions you know um, you're gonna have your typical uncharted moment and then you're gonna have your new moment like the last of us moment a quiet peaceful you know relaxing segments to catch your breath but the AIs are crap. Oh my god, they're like marksmen up in here. They are definitely have some kind of grudge. When they shoot you, they are not holding back. And plus, the fighting. This is what I'm going to talk about the fighting. It's the last part I'm going to talk about is that the fighting is not great. Um, it's just, it's like a after dart. Kind of like a push square a bunch of times until you hit they took out the dodge button they took out the counter button so the only way you could counter is the character uh, is facing is getting grabbed and then you do a counter um, so they took that one out so you focus more aggressive type um, that's why I didn't like so the fighting is really limited it focuses more on gunplay than fisticuffs and then one new feature that I really hated that I wish they fixed it when I saw me three the magical rope they have the magical rope that I swear to god that <laughs> I don't know who thought of it that okay when you use a grappling hook a realistic one okay they did this on part two and part three they don't rewind itself okay they don't rewind itself they don't magically go to your gun belt okay and some reason it does that it, it takes me out of the moment sometimes it's like okay you know this is a magical robe realistically it won't even work like that but that's a little bit nitpicking and that's it I didn't care about much of everything else because it worked fine the driving a little bit it, it's it's a um, it needs work um, it's not terrible but it does the first time you play it um, the first driving second you play as uh, in a Jeep it it feels loose it feels way too loose it just doesn't fit the what it wants to do especially the chasing segments it's very loose and it slips and slides and they could work on that a little bit better uh, it, it reminds me of the same nightmare I had with the first game with the jet ski it's unbearably complicated driving that goddamn jeep but I like the physics though with the jeep though it's pretty cool to wrench uh, it's fantastic but everything else what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with this Jeep? It works better than the second time you play it. 
the first time you play it, it's trash. But um, but the gameplay it works really well. It it fits. It, it, it's finally what the problems were on part uh, three, part one, part two. Yeah, part two had a great um, you know, shooting mechanic. But this one has more climbing, and I don't like climbing so much. So. But it does work it well. It it does work well. So I we have a little bit there's a little bit of nitpicking there here and there. The AI needs work. It always does. The AI always needs work. But hey, it's an electronic game, so it has kinda like that nostalgia feel. You know, so you can't really blame too much about, you know, the action when you focus so much on finding things and looking for things and occasionally here and there so the gameplay wise the movement wise oh we're spot on and that's what it wants to be it's spot on and that's a point that's a good point so with all that eh, you know you could work on something more you know you could work on tweaking the camera a little bit you could do that you could also tweak the controls a little bit you can do that um it's a little floaty gameplay is a little floaty it does have some moments it does has a you know a part that you would die a lot moment uh they took away the hit points that uh when you're climbing you know how the first game had that when you had to climb there has a yellow bar knowing that you have to climb they took that out to make it more realistic so you see like grapple holes that's brown and matches the background so and plus the climbing doesn't work as well that part two and part three did i think part three was a little weaker i think part two had a stronger climbing um this one it it's a little free form it's a little weak it's a little weak it's not terribly bad but when you're in a rush it, it gets to frustration but it's not bad it's not it's not a bad um you know climbing mechanic it, it works some problems but it has some problems so you got the yin and yang in that department but you do a lot of it especially uh the new uh mechanics that sliding you do a lot of sliding in this one too it's just why why I want to slide so much it's a lot of cliffs that I'm sliding on just way too much way 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 too much um, and yeah and then then you got the bread uh, button prompts person square a hundred times it gets repetitive a hundred times it does get repetitive I said this before um, pressing t triangle to, to do things, to answer things, to practically everything in the game is triangle. I didn't like it so much and it reminded me of another game. But all said and done, after you, you mindly press triangle and do everything else, the game is a fantastic gameplay. It has, you know, you know it mom the moments that you want to play, that you want to replay. Um, yeah, sure. And Thanks. just talk about set pieces. Wow. Look at that. We struck copper. <laughs> well, you'd be surprised how much this stuff is worth. Clients paying good money for the full cover. Sure you don't want to just melt it down, make some pennies? <laughs> Come on, let's go celebrate. First round's on me. Bar hopping with you guys? <laughs> no, no, no. Not unless there's hazard pay. Uh, if it's all the same to you, I think I'm just gonna do the paperwork and uh, get home and crash. A rain check, though? All right. Suit yourself. Hey, good work today. Thanks. Copper. Set pieces are fun. But, half the time they're unnecessary. It's a long game, so you're gonna have a lot, a lot of cool moments. 
and that's four. It's just four. So if you enjoy them, sure, why not enjoy them? But they're gonna be big and you know um, confusing half the time. But the power of the PlayStation 4 shows you how well explosion are, building crumbles, hanging off roof and uh, dragging your ass against the mud. And these action set pieces work pretty well in the gameplay. Not like Uncharted 3 that every moment was a set piece. This one actually um, sets you back and enjoy it and not really prepare for it. Uh, it shows you how and you know Naughty Dog are masters of their work and they felt like you're in the movie especially what you felt like you know you want to do it again but it always changes it's the set piece is not the same thing um, it's a few moments that I, I can't remember but they were pretty pretty big and they were very rememberable and that's what I kind of like about Uncharted they have rememberable moments that you just keep playing and playing and and like what spots that you want to play in and they give you that option and these set pieces are incredible I mean breathtaking incredible awesome incredible I mean loss of words that these set pieces are a high point for these games for this game especially and especially the parts I'm talking about next is heartwarming and plus very good acting heartwarming gut-wrenching emotion the story between Elena and Nathan are strong um, there's just a few things that you could watch and you realize that it's not just a game that you're into, it's more. Especially scenes like this. And it's tough. It's really it's a heartwarming magical ride. Um I wanna show you a clip that act the acting for over ten years, it's well made. Just take a look. Looks like. Really? Because what it looks like is that you're searching for Henry Avery's buried treasure. And given the shoreline soldiers that are all over town, I'd bet you're not the only ones looking for it. All right, well, I, I guess it's kind of what it looks like. But, but I can explain. Look, it's going to sound crazy. Try me. For starters, um, this is uh, Sam. Sam Drake, my brother. I... I'm sorry. I, I thought he had died in a Panamanian Neat. jail, but I was obviously very wrong. He's been stuck in there for 15 years, and it's because of me. And the guy who broke him out wants a lot of money, and the only way we can pay off the debt is Avery's treasure. But, but that's the good news. We, we found it. it it's, it's on an island just off the coast. Okay, just stop. Was there ever a Malaysia job? Elena, wait! I don't get you. Look, I, I wanted to tell you. You know what? Enough! No, I wanted to, but how could I? I don't know. Just say it. I had to protect you. That is bullshit, Nate. You just didn't have the nerve to face me again. I, I knew you would react like this. How would you react? You lied to me for weeks. If you were killed, I, I wouldn't have even known about it. And now you have a brother. Who are you? Come on. 
I'm me. Come on, it's me. It's different this time. I have to save him. I don't even care about the treasure. The look on your face when you walked into this room. If you're done lying to me, then you should stop lying to yourself. I got a plane to catch. You do what you have to do. When it ends, it's more just a story or an action game. It's telling you something. It's alright to let go. It's alright to grow up. It's alright to be there for your friends and your family. The lost ones that you didn't see along the way. That's about. It's charting the unknown. And what you see at the end is it's not what you think, it's what you experience. It's the road, long road, that you must travel to find your end. Even though this is my end and my story, even though my last video, it all comes through the end. This is John the Average Gamer, and I'll catch you guys next time. Just how far we've come. Sick Parvis Magna. Sick Parvis Magna? Yeah.